Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Continuing on, finding missing lengths using tree. What's the first thing I should be writing on the board? What? Suck a toe. What is it? Sock cat. So sock. Suck a toe. Okay. Finding missing lens. What's the first step? Labeling our triangle. Screens down. Okay, labeling this triangle. This is the 90 degree angle. So the side opposite to it is? Is? Hypotenuse. H. Now this is the angle we've been given. So side opposite to it is? Opposite. So this must be adjacent. Now, we have to find Y and opposite has been given to us. Do we need A? No. So we need O and H. Which ratio has O and H? Stop. 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 So we write sine theta equals O over H. So we've labeled, we've chosen the correct ratio. Now, sub in the numbers, eyes on the board. Sine of 25 degrees equals 50 over Y. Now, these questions are different from the last set of questions we did. Because our unknown is in the denominator now. So what we do is we cross multiply. Okay? So we swap these two. So basically we divide times in both sides by y. And then we divide in both sides by sine 25. Or well, the shortcut to remember is cross these two. Swap these two. Y goes there. Sine 25 comes at the bottom. Let's do that. Y equals 50 over sine 25. Take your cars out now. Make sure it's in degree mode. Press control divide to get the division template. Scissors in your pencil case. I have no idea why you have them. Control divide. You don't need to put y equals. Why are people putting y equals? Just put control divide. On the top, write 50. And then you write sine 25. Okay, let's check that. Not that I don't trust you. It's good to. 100 and? 0.31. Is that how you say it? 0.31. It is. Now, it's 118.31. If for some reason you did not get it correct, I'll come around and check your calculator settings in a minute. Cas down now. You don't have to put an equation in. You don't want to put the y equals thing. All you have to do is control divide 50 on top, sine 25 at the bottom. Your calculator should be in degrees mode, DEG on the top right hand corner, and you don't have to put the degree sign. It's already in two decimal places, 118.31. What's the unit? That's it. Next one, labeling, hypotenuse, which side is this? It's touching the angle, adjacent, and this is opposite. I need O and A, which ratio? Tor, tor. tor. Tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. Tan, 62 equals 7 over Y. What do I do to bring Y to the top? Cross them, cross multiply. So y equals 7 over 1062 or y equals control divide. Let's check that. 10. Yep, what was the answer? 3.72197. Perfect, it is correct. Now, we need to round it to two decimal places. What's the next digit? One. So we keep this as it is. 3.72 units. Units. Wake up. Meters. Anytime you're finding length, it has to have a unit. All right, calculators down. As on the board, pens down. Next question is slightly different. You, used to have your, you, you need to use your brain a little bit more to actually figure out the angle. So we've got a big triangle, 
What do these little cuts, the lines represent? You know these three lines? Symmetrical Okay, are we sure if we raise our hands, please? Yes. Exactly. That they're, they're all equal lengths. Parallel is different. We use it differently. The arrows. So if all these three lengths are equal, put the calculators down, please. What kind of a triangle is it? Equilateral. Equilateral triangle. Do we all agree with that? So the big triangle we see all three sides are equal, so it's an equilateral triangle. What is each angle inside an equilateral triangle equal to? So all angles inside an equilateral triangle are equal as well. So what three angles, which are equal, add up to 180? 60. 60. Well done. So that means angles are 60, 60, 60. Is this bit clear? Yeah. Now, I need to find C. So I need a right angle triangle. So I've drawn this triangle again. So this is 60. This is 12 meters. And this is C. Can I use trig and find C now? Yes. That's it. So it is a simple trick question, but you have to do some working out to find the angle. Let's label. Hypotenuse, opposite, adjacent. O, H, ratio. So. So, sine. Sine theta equals over H. Sine of 60 equals C over 12. So what is C equal to? 12 times sine 60. In your calculators now. I want the exact answer this time please. So no control divide. I need the exact answer. And it should be 6 root 3. Because I know what sine 60 is. Exact answer please. Check it, it's 6 root 3? Yeah. That's it, get on with it.